Hello everyone, we're about ready to go to Avon, Indiana with her for the first time. <laughs> Hi. Now I'm gonna see if this is capturing the whole car or if it's cutting her off or cutting me off because I know the lens is faced right here, but we are testing out the GoPro. How do you feel about going to Avon, Indiana, baby? Excited. I'm ready. So which flea market are we going to, baby? The one near KK. Okay, so we're going to the Emporium Flea Market on the edge of Indianapolis and Plainfield, Indiana. We have been to this one. It's my favorite one. I've barely gone there. She's only gone there one time. So we are going to do our um, travels. Make sure everyone likes, comments, shares, subscribes. And uh, we're trying something new here. A GoPro Hero 7 Black with an external microphone plugged in. And... Um, Baby, what did you think about the Emporium Flea Market the first time that we went there? I liked it. It was a lot to walk around, but it was cool. I wish it was dirty like it was the first time I ever went years ago. It used They used to have their clothes all on the floor. Like There was not a spot other than up front at the cash registers and by the bathrooms that you could walk without stepping on something then the second time i went back it was all cleaned up and everything was fresh and or like when you went but it was way more fun when it was super messy like really messy but um what all did you see there the first time we went that you wanted the Fortnite reboot van that was at the uh, one by our oh, house oh was it yeah yep gaming chair yeah we saw a guy that was selling like five or six gaming chairs they look like they um what colors did he have they look like they sat low to the ground though white green like like a neon green white and blue i think yeah he, he yeah i remember the green one he did have green and i know he had white too that was um it was pretty nice i think and we are on the open road going from Greenwood to the edge of Indianapolis. And uh, I don't know how exactly we're going to get the GoPro in there, but we'll try and find a way to get some indoor video of the flea market. I'm thinking what we can do is maybe use our phones and record some phone videos inside yeah. and then just use the GoPro for like the inside the car. And then on the way back, like I was saying, we should put it on the front of the car. Yeah. Drive from Avon to here. Okay. That'll work for just me. Just get the whole entire yeah. city. So, baby, what is it that you remember the most about this uh, Emporium Flea Market? It was really clean. Oh. And the people seemed really nice there. What about the outside of the building? Somewhat nice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she's being very, very polite about the outside of the building. <laughs> very, very. Somewhat nice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she's being too nice, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a really, um, it's a really old, like it's been there for over five years. It's been there for a long time. Maybe we'll uh, get a shot of the Google so you guys can get the address if you want to come to Indiana. Or if you live in Indiana and have never been to the Emporium, we'll have a screenshot of it right here. And you can find out exactly where it's at. Because they got several Emporiums. We got an Emporium beside our house. And then there's an Emporium there. And there's also another Emporium flea market up north. And there was one in Beach Grove. But I think a guy I work with said it shut down because they didn't get a lot of sales. But this one must get a lot of sales to be open for all these years but the important question is baby would you live in the Emporium building if you could no <laughs> and what I also like about it is that they have couches and furniture there and like washer and dryers and stuff they do 
And they're not high priced either, like most places. Right. They they have some new ones too, don't they? Yeah. New um, new washers. I know I, we saw new washers the first time we went together. They also got baby clothes and clothes for grown ups and stuff like that. So. And a lot of video games, a cell phone repair shop, some restaurants in there, a hairstyling place is in there. They have shoes, boots, old, new, socks, candy. I wouldn't trust candy from a flea market. Yes, they got that. They got a whole bunch of pants. They've got, you. Uh, most of it is from what I've asked the people that used to sell there is they'll go to storage units and they'll buy up storage units that have been abandoned, just like on Storage Wars, and they'll bring the stuff and resell it. When you sit on yours, they don't, um,
working guitar hero. All right, everyone, we are out of the Emporium Flea Market. Alright everyone, we are out of the Emporium Flea Market. Baby, what did you think this time? I liked it. It was much cleaner than last time. Oh yeah. Did you have as much fun as you did last time? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I thought those chairs that we got a little bit of a clip of, we didn't get a clip of the really good one, but they still have the gaming chairs there in the very back on the left side. So if you come here, very back left side, there's gaming chairs. What were some things that you saw that, that piqued your interest this time? The couches. Couches. Yeah. I think I got a shot of you there. If not, we'll just uh, put a little stock image of a couch up. If not, we're just not going to put anything there. You know what I'm saying? But um, she liked the couches, and you like some of the dining chairs. That one dining set table was gone, though. They done sold that thing plumb near out from under you. Yeah. I saw a Nintendo Wii there that I really um, wanted to get. It. it was selling for $39, and it came with two controllers and a game. I really wanted to get that, but we ended up passing on it because we wouldn't make that much money on it. We would sell the controller for one, uh, for about 20 bucks, one controller, and then the Wii itself for 50, but if we put some games with it for 80, and it wasn't going to be that big of a profit for us, but um, ultimately, did you uh, like coming here again? Yeah. I did. Well, that's really fun. good. It was cleaner this time. They actually cleaned it up, not let it be a mess and you know that something's really clean when she repeats it twice that's how she is she really liked how clean it was I did too I do miss the first time when I came here when stuff was all over the floor but cleaned up it does look pretty nice yep <laughs> look at her being cute <laughs> if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button and let us know in the comments if you would like to go to this flea market. We didn't get too many good shots because I had to make sure I snuck my camera because we couldn't bring the GoPro in. We didn't have a hole in one of our shirts. So I had to use my camera and like walk around with it. We tried um, to get some pretty good shots for you. If we failed, let us know. If we succeeded, let us know that we did a good job. If you like the video, please hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe button. It really helps us out. And we're out. And we're out.